everyone welcome back to my channel and I have a brand new video for you today so this will all be about creating a tablescape for Christmas trying to give you some ideas for the season ahead I have kindly been given some pieces from Sophie Alport's beautiful new collection she has so many different variations this year in terms of design and um, so I believe there was a Christmas stag there was a um, I think there was like a little sausage dog prints um, but the, the one I have chosen is from the Robin collection um, because I absolutely loved all the greens and the creams I thought it would tie in with um, my home very beautifully so I thought I would do a little unboxing with you and then afterwards I will show you how I'm going to style everything up. So I just thought I would give you a few ideas. Um, some of these pieces in here will probably be great for gifting for Christmas. If you have any friends, any relatives, if you're struggling to find anything for them. Um, I do have a discount code, I will pop it in the description box down below. Um, but that will get you 20% off the whole collection. So yeah, let's get into it. So I have had a sneak peek, I must admit, um, to these already. But um, the first thing I will start off with are these beautiful crackers. So I absolutely love the colour of this. It reminds me so much of a Farron Ball colour. Um, I don't know if it's the, um, oh, can't, can't quite remember the name um, of the colour, but let me just show you that up, up close. So that is the print um, and it comes with a pack of six, which is perfect because that's the amount we will be having for Christmas this year. Um, and inside, which I thought was so nice, you can actually see a picture there. Um, you get six individual mini robins, so they will be perfect for Christmas decorations. Um, so I thought that was just a lovely touch. Usually you get like the traditional party hats and a little, just a little nibble bit really, but yeah, I thought that was really nice. Next up we have, going along with the robin collection, is this apron. Now I absolutely love the colour of this green, how beautiful is that? It reminds me very much of the acorn collection um, that they recently sent me as well. So yeah, I shall show you. Here's just a close-up of it. But I just love um, the designs that Sophie creates. They are beautiful. So I will definitely be wearing this on Christmas Day. <laughs> Trying to help out, I mean, Adam's Adam tends to be the chef on Christmas Day. I'm kind of the one who keeps the drinks flowing and obviously spend time with Ivy. Um, but yeah, Adam kind of likes to get involved and that's his territory on Christmas Day in the kitchen. But hopefully I do get a chance to wear this. And normally when I do get my apron, um, I love to style it on the peg shelf in the kitchen, just hang it up with a few of the tea towels which are in the collection as well which I'll show you. You can as well, it's worth mentioning, if you are thinking of gifting this to someone you can get it personalised with the name on which is a really nice, like a unique touch really. So yeah, absolutely love that one. Thing with the Robin theme. Now I didn't actually know that Sophie Alport did this but they actually do Christmas pyjamas believe it or not. So I thought I should get some for Ivy. So I got her this really cute, it's like a gorgeous navy blue tone and then it's got the green pipe in there that you can see but obviously it's got the robin design on it. I just love the piping detail there and obviously it's got the matching pants for it that you see there. But no I absolutely love those and I know she's going to get so much use out of it. Obviously come Christmas, you may have seen in my previous video we've already got our Christmas pyjamas for this year family. Obviously it's always nice to have another pair during Christmas. 
and Ivy loves spending time outdoors, especially when she sees little birds. Um, we, we do go to a forest school now and again, um, and she loves the owl um, that's at the forest school. But no, she loves looking at birds. They are beautiful. Um, I think they do these also in adult um, sizes as well, in men's and women's. Um, but sadly, the women's ones were sold out um, because I did have my eye on those. But no, but at least Ivy has got another set of pajamas. And another item from the Robin collection are these napkins. Now, I absolutely love napkins. Like, there's nothing better than changing of seasons and that your table representing that. And I just love adding to my collection. I've actually got like a little basket, a Neptune basket that I like to collect all my napkins in. Um, so I love this design this year. So again, it matches the apron with the green. I'll show you a little close up there. But it comes in a set of four, which is perfect. There's so many different ways that you can style napkins as well. I'll try and show a few variations when I do come to do the tablescape. But even just simply just draping it over um, your plate and then putting your cutlery on top is just a nice, easy, simple way to do that. But no, I absolutely love that design. And the same design as this are the matching tea towels. Um, so I love the fact that they've included. So, oh, it's different design actually. So rather than the green one being um, like a repetitive print, they have changed it slightly. You can see it there. They've got a different design on, which I love. And then this is the cream colorway, which is equally as beautiful. So again, I will be hanging those up on my peg shelf in the corner. And I just love updating that corner of, the, of, the, of our kitchen. And alongside the apron um, that you see there, that will be perfect for styling. Um, and I don't like to use these. And obviously, some, some people are probably thinking, oh, why do you not use the tea towels? But I always find special ones like these are just nice just to use as an accessory um, or just to style your home with rather than actually using them. Um, but yeah, I, can, I know I'll just get these year, out year upon year. Um, but yeah, they're just a beautiful design. And next up, we have a table runner. Now, when I'm selecting um, different pieces, I wanted to kind of show variations rather than just doing all green. I thought this would be, work perfectly because I do currently have um, a similar green table runner from Neptune. Um, so I thought this thinner table runner would work perfectly with it. So yeah, again, this is just a repetitive design with the beautiful robins on. And the size of this, um, just in case you're wondering, is 35 by 280 centimetres. So it is perfect just for a standard size table. And this also works perfectly if you do have a round table, because normally we actually do. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I've actually extended our table uh, to fit six people round. But you can still use table runners on uh, round tables. Or if you do prefer, they do a tablecloth in this as well. I'll link everything down below in the description box. And then also I have these little gift tags, which are perfect. There we go. As you can see, they are very beautiful. So I thought I would try and plan ahead and get organised when it comes to wrapping our presents. So they are the gift tags. And then alongside that, I also got some lovely wrapping paper. And that's also in the Robin print. Now I love that the fact that this is recycling, recycled paper. I'll probably use the chocolate velvet ribbon um, that I got from Hudson Home. You may have seen a previous video. I can use to tie up the presents with or I can mix and match. I've seen a really nice wrapping paper in Sainsbury's and it's just plain green. So I thought that would be perfect just to mix and match with those. So yeah, um, and I do actually have some presents ready to wrap. Um, now, the, this is a different design um, that I've gone for with the, the other final pieces. Um, it's from the Christmas Stag prints, I believe. So, 
again trying to get organized before christmas now we always have like friends and family um who we like to gift like bottles of wine and prosecco to so i thought i would stock up on a few of these before we purchase them but i love this nice beautiful green you just get that out of the way for you if you can see that there how stunning is that design and i just love the beautiful touches of the the ribbon so it's nice beautiful sage green they also do wrapping paper and larger gift bags as well not just bottle bags and then lastly we have a bedding set which i am so excited to open you will not believe um, as soon as i saw this i could just picture it in the guest bedroom and this year as as we always do when it comes to christmas we have our mum and my dad stay over and our mo my mother-in-law um stays over as well so she will be staying in the guest bedroom and um, so i absolutely loved this christmas stag print and um, i'll just try and show you up close if you can see that if the light doesn't so it's just again a repetitive print of the christmas of the stag and this also includes i believe um two of the pillowcases now sadly i missed out on um they do the oxford pillowcase as well but they were sold out obviously because they were so popular um, but yeah i can't wait to style this up in the guest bedroom so that is everything to show you from sophie albor um i will just i've just checked my discount code and my discount code is rachel xmas 20 um, and that will get you 20% off the whole range. I will leave all the links to all the products in the description box down below for you if you want to shop anything. Um, but yeah, like I said, it would be perfect if you are looking for something um, like unique with the personalisation that Sophie Alport offers online. And um, that would be a really nice idea. They also do like beautiful like gar gardening tools and stuff. Um, so if you've got someone in the family who loves gardening that might be something really nice to gift them or like I said previously we are little ones uh, with pyjamas they are really nice gifts. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unpackage everything um, and then I am going to show you how I will style it on our table. So this is our dining room slash kitchen. Um, so for those of you who don't know, who um, may have not seen this room before, because I don't think I've showed it, um, but you might have seen it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it is at home at Cranberry Meadows. Um, I'll link it in the description box down below. But yeah, this is the kitchen. But a little information about everything that you see in before I get into the table skirt. The dining table is from Neptune. I believe it's the Sheldrake um, collection. But this, like I mentioned before, is normally um, a round table, but it is an extendable one. Um, and when we were trying to decide which size to go for, we nearly went for the six seater, six to eight, but we thought in case we ever decide to move, very lucky enough to have a larger dining space, um, there was an option to extend for a 10, uh, to fit 10 people. So we did actually go for that one in the end. But yeah, I've just set it up today as a six seater. So you're probably wondering, because it's just out of shot, let me just show you. Um, I actually do have a little bench there that I got from TK Maxx recently. And I absolutely love it. It was such a great find. Um, again, from the lovely friend on Instagram, Victoria. Um, she found it and showed it on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, I need it. Um, so yeah, that was a great find from them. And the chairs, they're also from TK Maxx. So I had to hunt these down. Um, they, I think I've managed to get them from two different stores in the end. But no, they're just lovely, just plain linen. And they do have like a silver ring on the back, which comes in very handy um, at Christmas time because I like to put little wreaths or ribbons around them to decorate them at Christmas. The prints that you see, I have one here and one there. They are both from the Musée Home. You use my code, I think it's Rachel Prints, that will get you 10% off if you're ever thinking of getting them. Um, I always get questions about the size as well. So they are A3 size and the frames are from Ikea. Now these are always in and out of stock, so you're better off checking. 
And um, the last time I did go to IKEA, um, the sole purpose of going to IKEA was to get these frames. Uh, they'd sold out and literally everywhere. So they are definitely in demand and popular. <laughs> they are size, I think they are 50 by 70. Those. So, but no, I absolutely love them. I normally do have them in the guest bedroom, but just for the sole purpose of this table and <laughs> um, skate video, I wanted to bring them down because I do need to get prints up in here. Because we did have some family ones, um, some like family portraits done when Ivy were just newborn. Um, and I normally do have those up, but I just fancy just to change really. So yeah, I am gonna look out for some new prints. This console table, um, I always get asked about. That is also some TK Max <laughs> slash Home Sense. Um, it was an amazing find. I think it was the, I think it's Jeff Banks, um, the designer. But the lamp is from Donnell. I believe or is it the range no i think it's from Donnell. and then the pine cone stems you probably saw in my previous christmas home deco haul they are from homestyle 89 you guys sold them out oh my god i can't believe how many um of you went for them hannah who owns homestyle 89 she's been messaging me um you guys went crazy for all the pieces so thank you so much i know hannah's over the moon with all your support and all your orders can't wait to See you style them all up if you show me on instagram if you follow me just send me a dm on instagram i love seeing your uh, pieces that you buy off my recommendation and then just in the middle i have a bowl it's currently got some seed pods in it but i am going to swap them out for some pine cones um but yeah i think that is everything so what i am going to start with first normally um, we just leave the table as it is but for this video I'm going to put like a plain linen tablecloth over uh, because I just like to show just variations really and I think it'll work really well with the Sophie Hopewood pieces. So this I have it here actually. Um, so it's a very large tablecloth, just a plain linen one and this one's actually from JISC I think if I remember rightly. So this one's just the perfect size. So let's pop that over. Let's make sure that's right. The cushion's getting more in the way there. So I actually give this a quick iron, but it doesn't really look like it. But <laughs> I suppose that's kind of the nature of the linen fabric, really, isn't it? It just doesn't have to be pristine, perfect. So that is that. So next up, I'm going to add this table runner that is from Neptune. It's the olive green one, and it has a beautiful, you can see that, like a nice frayed edge. Um, I think they should still be in stock, but what I'll try and do, because they are quite expensive, these, I'll try and link something very similar. I know usually H&M or Amazon do ones really similar, so I'll pop a few variations um, in the description box. So let's pop this on. This is making me feel so festive. I just wish I had some music playing in the background. Some like nice Christmas, um, some Christmas one would be lovely, some Christmas music, but obviously with copyright, I don't want to get told off with YouTube. So yeah, so we'll just have to imagine that we are listening to some Christmas music. So that is everything. So that's just kind of, just to break up the, just all linen really. Um, and then what I'm going to do is get the sofa all poured. This is also the table runner that I showed you before. But yeah, this is just a nice colour wear. So it's like the cream and it worked really well with the greens there, I think. Let's see how this looks. Hopefully it should just be skinny enough just to lay on top of the Neptune one. And obviously you can see here, it is a really long table runner. So even if you have a larger table to style up, it would definitely fit. And this, as you can see, is the perfect fit and works well. So my plan that I had in mind has worked so far. Um, I probably should, probably should have given this a steam really, but 
Hmm, we shall see how it works anyway. So let's just lay it on top there, which is beautiful. So next up, I'm probably, I need to get some placemats. So one second, I'm just trying to remember. Let me go get the placemats. <laughs> now I can't decide, so I have two types of placemats these are both from neptune so this first one is like a beautiful rattan um, and it's got like a nice washed um look to it so it's kind of quite neutral really and that might work well color wise but i also love this one because it just kind of looks more like a natural material and i think that will work really well with the robin print so i'm gonna try it both and then just see what I think really. So let's try with this one first and see how it looks. So this is what it's currently looking like with the, the Neptune, the lighter rattan, um, which probably works really well with the space. Um, but I'm just going to try the brown uh, rattan ones as well, just to kind of settle myself a bit more. <laughs> just try and make the decision properly. Um, let's just get rid of these quickly. I do really like these ones. Um, and they probably add a bit more warmth to the table really. Hmm, what do we think? Yeah, I really like this brown, I think. Just because it picks, it works really nicely with like the, the pine cone stems that I have and it picks up the brown from the lamp and the four frames. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep with this one. Yeah, let's do that. So now I need to get all my plates out. So let's get them out. So these plates I have been collecting over time really um, and these are the Bowlesley collection at Neptune. If you're looking to invest in some new tableware for Christmas, um, we always tend to get these out more just special occasions really, we don't really tend to use them every day. Um, but they are just a lovely design, I'll just show you that up close. But I do know that Next do a very similar design, so I will link both be below in the description box so you can just check them out, see what you prefer. I normally like to do is get the side plates as well and just pop them on top. I will grab the napkins. So obviously these only come in a pack of four, so what I'm going to do is I may, because they've got um, a little bit of orange that you can see there, um, get my Neptune ones because I've got a really nice like, apricot burnt orange um, napkins that will match perfectly with them, so I can maybe mix and match with them. These are the burnt orange kind of apricot colour that I was talking about. So these will match perfectly with the Neptune fringing but also with the robin print as well. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, they match perfectly. Let's just pop them on right. Let's see. Hmm, they're not as they're probably a bit wider than the soft all four ones. So, hmm. what I'm gonna do is, just to dress it up a little bit more, I have this garland. So this um, I recently bought from Habitat or Sainsbury's. Um, I got it online, but it's such a good um, garland. I think it was only 12 pounds, but it's so realistic. Like if you see the branches there, they look so nice. 
So let me just take the tank off first because we don't really want that on, do we? <laughs> and let's just see if we can just weave this in and out first. beauty of this garland um, it's got the wires that you can bend and so it's easy to manipulate um, which way you want the stem to go and um, you know it's just a really nice just a simple garland nothing too fancy so obviously you don't want to take away from the beautiful design <laughs> we just pop those that didn't work better than they had it that way um, so I'm going to put, also put some candle sticks on. So these you will have seen in another video. So they're the ones from Pox and Bo, and then the candles are from Neptune. But I think H&M do really similar ones as well in this, in this colour. What I will do now is let's get the crackers out. And have a little play. Oh, actually, we need cutaway first, don't we? I think that'll kind of help make it more homely and festive. So this is just a little tray that I tend to keep. Let me show you closer. This is just a. Um, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Try that again, Rachel. So yeah, this is a tray that I picked up recently from Matalan. So again, it's this like a rattan, um, nice material. Um, and I think it was only a few pounds, um, but I just like, it's just nice just to keep your cutter organized. So these are ones that I got recently from Neptune. I think it was last year. I decided just to treat myself, um, but they're just a lovely, let me just try and, they're just a lovely, design that you can see there they also do it in a green colorway and i think a gray colorway as well but no i'll absolutely love these let's crack on with the crackers <laughs> Get that crack on with the crackers. <laughs> Very bad joke on my part. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> um, let's, let's get these open. But they do different designs in these crackers as well, so it's not just the robin. I think they do in the stag one, um, you get like little mini stag slash reindeer um, little decorations inside as well. Which are really cute. So let me try and Hmm, I don't know if I can get these out with actually, without actually pulling on the cracker. Does it slide out? Oh, let's get this out. Oh, there we go. Well, whilst I'm doing all this, I am going to put my apron on because why not? <laughs> so you can obviously see it, what it looks like as well. There we go, that was just on there. So let's try it on. I can't look the part there. So what I do tend to do because they do come up quite long is I just like to fold it up. Um, that might be a bit too much, maybe like that. Now it looks like I'm going to cook something after here, <laughs> which I probably will be doing. I'll probably be making our tea shortly. But no, so that is what the design looks like. It's really pretty. You know, that's really cute. I love that. I just love the colour of it. It's just such a nice green. Stops any food uh, collecting on it as well. It's got little pockets, so no, that's really cute. So I thought I'd just show you a close-up 
um, of what everything looks like. So obviously I've just placed them on top but I will have a play around with the napkins. But I just love the colour combination with all the greens and then the nice apricot and then just the simplicity of the garland in the middle and obviously it's more practical having something like this because you're going to have all the food on and everything like it'd be nice to have some sort of arrangement in the middle but no how beautiful are these the crackers they are beautiful and i love the color of the ribbon as well so yeah that is just how it looks so far so i'm going to style up the napkins in a different way and then i will get back to you and show you the next design so here is the design, the next one that I have done. So I've literally just simply um, rolled them up and just tied them in a knot and then just placed the crackers next to them. But I just love the relaxed look of just folding napkins this way. And as you can see, I've also done the ones, the Neptune ones as well. But yeah, we're just trying to play around with putting the crackers there or maybe just next to them like that maybe hmm but I do like them on the plate as well and just gives yourself a bit more room as well because if you obviously if I had a bigger table I'd probably put side plates there as well and then I've just also realized I've not even put glasses out either <laughs> oh my goodness okay now <laughs> It definitely feels a lot more festive with some glasses, doesn't it? I can't believe I actually forgot to put them on. Oh my goodness me. It's been so long though since I've had to do a tablescape because I didn't really do any for autumn. Um, probably the last one I did was around Easter or Valentine's, probably. So yeah, um, but no, it looks so much better with the glasses. These are just from Ikea and these are from TK Maxx. <laughs> 